Hello, welcome to Living Life with Purpose. I'm your host, Phil Foster. I just want to take one second just to remind you to get out to church this weekend. Of course, if you live in the Athens area, we'd love to have you here at New Life, and we meet at 10.35 a.m. You know, uh, if you ever struggle with doubts, uh, I want to talk to you for just about the next minute and a half about how to overcome doubts. In Mark chapter 9, one time, Jesus came to a man, and he had a son who was possessed by evil spirits. And so the man comes to Jesus and he asked him, can you do something about this situation? And then Jesus kind of looked at him like, what do you mean, can I do something about it? And then the guy changed his attitude. I Probably after he thought about it, I said, go ahead and do something about it. And you know the outcome, Jesus did something about that. And many times when we approach God, we, we stop and we think, it's not that we don't believe that he can do something. Maybe we put up barriers where we think, well, he might do it for somebody like a Billy Graham or a Mother Teresa or somebody, but would he do it for someone like you or for me? Well, friend, let me tell you today, God's no respecter of people. And what he's done for others, he'll do for you. He'll do for even someone like me. Listen, here's some things you can do to overcome uh, doubts that might try to creep into your walk of faith. Every day, nurture your faith by watering it with the Word of God. Stand the Word. Let the Word of God speak to you. Spend time in prayer and let the Father speak to you through prayer. And then be obedient. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. So whatever you know to do, do your best to practice that. And then don't walk by sight, walk by faith. Just because it doesn't look good doesn't mean that God's not at work in the situation. So next time you approach the Lord and you have a need in your life, don't come to him and say, Lord, if you would or could you, but come to him and say, Lord, here's my need. I lay it on your altar, and I'm asking you to do something about it. Well, there's always more I could say, but I'm going to hit the pause button until we get together on Monday. May God bless you, and hey, have a great day.